Hey guys and gals, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel, and we are back with another episode of the Skyrim Special Edition Modding Guide. Using what we learned in the last episode of the series, we will be installing Cassant's Skyrim Skill Uncapper for Special Edition. As we are using MEH321's DLL plugin loader, it requires special instructions to make things work for both Nexus Mod Manager and Mod Organizer 2. But don't worry, I've got both managers covered. We will also go over configuring the mod SkyrimUncapper.ini file for use with your game, and I've got something special planned in that regard. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we are at the desktop, and uh, you can see I'm starting to get some projects done. i got a lot of episodes coming up here. So, one of the things that people always ask for is, you know, with Special Edition, is they're always missing certain mods. And one of those mods is the Skyrim Community Uncapper by a list. And it was for the original edition and it was downloaded a bunch because a lot of people used it. And what it basically does is unlock the skill level caps of 100 and push them to upward of 1000. This allows you, the character, to be able to level up almost forever. You also get the benefits from skills above level 100 up to level 199, including enchantment bonuses. You may also tweak the settings of this plugin to set your own caps to modify the experience earning rate of each skill, the relation between each skill leveling and player leveling, and to change the number of perks, health points, magic points, stamina points, carry weight points, gained at specific level ups, etc, etc, etc. There was only one problem. It required SKSE. So, that means Skyrim Special Edition's out for right now. But... We are fortunate enough to have an option, and that is the Skyrim Skill Uncapper by Cassant, and it's mod number 8889. And what this does is essentially it's Alyssa's Uncapper, slightly different when you look at it, but it has a, many of the same features. There is one problem, though, is that in the previous episode of the series, we installed SSE fixes, this one right here. And if you remember from that episode, we had to install a new DLL loader, also created by MEH321, that we changed some files right here. And this is the default loader that I want to use for this because I consider SSE fixes to be an essential mod while the Skyrim Skill on Capper, while a very good mod, is optional for most people. So, where's the problem then? Well, this one is set up for a DLL loader called Shadowman's DLL loader, and we will take a look at that real fast just to give him props for creating something really neato. And this is a different setup. So you can see it uses a dinput 8.dll and you can see it didn't have to change anything. So it's a slightly different setup. Just to give him a full recognition, he also has two other mods that use DLL loaders, and one is called Keyboard Shortcuts Fix and the other one's Achievement Mods Enabler. Now, the technique that I'm about to show you will work for both of those mods and set it up the same way as we are going to be setting up the Skyrim Skill Uncapper. So, let's go down and we need to open the file section because we got some work to do to make this all work. When you go down to the main files, you're going to find the Skyrim Skill Uncapper. Normally, you would say, okay, it's download with manager. No, nope, can't do it because we're changing the file structure, just download it manually and put it on your desktop, which I've done right here. And you can see Skyrim Skill on Capper, and you can see I have SSE fixes right there, so we have a reference point. I also went ahead and got uh, X Shadowman's other two mods that I mentioned, the Keyboard Shortcuts and the Achievement Mods Enabler. So you can see that this system works perfectly fine for everything. So let's take a look at SSE fixes. That's our reference point. And you can see basically the mod contains the DLL plugins and has the two FPS fix plugin.dll and dot any. So we got little things to do on this. Let's talk about the Skyrim skill on Capra because that's what we're here to do. Open that up and you can see the file structure is a little bit different. You have Skyrim skill on Capra, data, plugins, someone that's uh, X Shadowman, and then the two files we're concerned about Skyrim skill uncapper.dll and the skyrim uncapper dll underscore exports.txt and these are the two files we need to make this work okay so how do we do this i'm just going to go ahead and make this easy since we want to go ahead and duplicate the 
the structure for this, we're going to make a new folder on my desktop. New folder, and we're going to call it DLL Plugins. Boom, new folder. Come on, new folder. Thank you very much. And you can see inside of it is nothing. What I want you to do for the Skyrim Uncapper, I want you to just drag both those in and drop them in DLL Plugins. So you open that up, you have the two files that we're concerned about. Pretty simple so far, right? Go ahead and close this down because we don't need that anymore. You can move it off to the side. And we are going to add this to an archive. So right click on it, we're going to add to archive. And we are going to name it, and you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it SS, oops, excuse me, capitals, SSE underscore uncapper. Right, this is important for naming conventions, so the underscore if you're ever gonna have a space. Press OK, and you can see it right over there. Now you have basically the same file structure as SSE fixes for the uncapper, DLL plugins, DLL plugins, okay? So you got it right there. Now for the same thing for the achievement mods enabler, you look at plugins, someone, achievement mods enabler, the DLL and the dot text, and the keyboard shortcuts is a very similar file structure, and you see those right there. I have already taken the liberty of going ahead and doing that over here, so I don't have to repackage all these stuff, and I named it Achievement Enabler Dart RAR, DLL Plugins, and Keyboard Shortcuts, DLL Plugins, and the file structure is all the same. As a matter of fact, I'm going to throw these all away because I don't want to confuse myself anymore. So we can just take those all away. Yep, that's what I want to do. So now we have three files that we're going to talk about. As a matter of fact, the plugins folder, we don't need anymore. Throw that away. Let's talk first about Nexus Mod Manager. So open that up. What do you want to do? Well, you can see I've already have SSE fixes installed and we have the SSE uncapper. I just dragged all these archives and just dropped them in one after another. I'm not going to activate them just yet because I want to go over some background. Just remember what we're doing. We're going to open up our main Skyrim directory, and you can see we still have binkw64.dll, the binkw64.log, and the binkw64 underscore dll. Those were all installed with MEH321's DLL plugin loader. Inside data, all we have is the DLL plugins that has the FPS fix plugins that was installed by Nexus Mod Manager. I'll have to go back and change that for uh, Mod Organizer 2, but I'll fix that in a second. I'm going to close that down. So we're going to enable all these. And now we're going to test to see if they run this game after we check this. So we just double check our data DLL plugins. And you can see all the ones that we have, all four mods are in the same place. So we're good to go. I'm going to launch the game. And just like in the previous video, we don't need to do much else. We can just go ahead and quit on out. Okay, so we have some things to check. First thing we're gonna do is open up our main Skyrim Special Edition directory, check our binkw64.log, that's the DLL plugin loader to see if everything worked. One, two, three, four, all okay and loaded. So they all loaded correctly, yay. What else do we need to check? Well, we need to come into our data folder and the uncapper has done something interesting. Open that up, DLL plugins, and we also have one more thing, and it's all the way down here at the bottom, the Skyrim Uncapper.ini. Open that, and this is the configuration file for the Uncapper. And you're gonna see a bunch of 100s and a bunch of ones, and basically this is telling you this is for a vanilla run-through. Nothing's going to change. This is exactly as the vanilla setup. And you're gonna to need to change this later on, but I will discuss that further on the video after we discuss Mod Organizer 2. So everything is working A-OK. -okay. Now I need to uninstall all of these because I need to go ahead and have them clear from Mod Organizer. Okay, you can see zero, we're all uninstalled, but there's one more thing you have to do if you're uninstalling the uncapper. It leaves a remnant, and this is one of the things you have to be aware of. Under DLL plugins, it left the uncapper.ini. You need to delete that if you're deleting the uncapper. It leaves remnants, and that's why sometimes you think you've got rid of, a, rid of a mod using Nexus Mod Manager, but there's stuff left. So that's why we don't like Mod Manager sometimes, but we're going to use Mod Organizer for that because that's why we like clean setups. 
Mod Organizer 2, you can see I've got uh, some things to do. Let's see, I've got my uncapper. I need to drag that in and drop it down. And we're going to go ahead and install this, and I'll show you what goes on. I've already installed the keyboard shortcuts and the achievement enabler, so that's why you see them at the top. And they're going to end up at the bottom here. So double-click to install, and this is the same for the achievements and the keyboard shortcuts. You can see we have data and then DLL plugins, and even though it says no game data on top level, that's okay because inside there we have the uncapper.dll and the dll.exports.txt. Okay, so it looks good. Go ahead and click OK, and you're going to get a warning, just like before for the SSD fixes. Just ignore it, and it's going to be down here at the bottom, and we're going to drag it all the way up. Because it is a DLL application, you want it at the very top, so it loads everything before you load any of your mods. And we're going to activate them all. In this case, we're just going to test them all real fast. We're going to launch Skyrim Special Edition. And here's our main load screen. We can go ahead and quit out. And check our timestamp, 1147, that's important. Let's see if everything loaded correctly. Go into our binkw64.log from the DLL plugin loader. And one, two, three, four, all work just fine. What's the timestamp on that? 1146, that's one minute ago. So you know that that is for this mod organizer load. So, okay. Now remember we had the uncapper.ini? Well, it is actually down in our overwrites and that's what the warning is right there. So when you look at this, you can see DLL plugins and the Skyrim uncapper. Just because I know what it's going to do, I'm going to close it and open it back up. Now, what do we do with this? We scroll all the way back up, and we need to drag it and drop it into the uncapper. And close. Just to make sure we've done it right, go to our file tree, DLL plugins, and there's the uncapper.ini. So we are good to go. Okay, so we are all installed. Let's take a second and talk about the uncapper.ini. Okay, this is what I want to talk about. When you open up SSE uncapper and you look at Kesson's uncapper.ini, you open this up in Explorer, you see the uncapper.ini, you have it right over here, and you can see that this setup is basically for a vanilla run. All the caps are set at zero, all the modifiers are set at zero and one, all the way down, and you just keep looking at it. This is vanilla. Nothing's going to change because of this. All right, so how do we adjust this to make it work for us? I'm going to close that down, close Mod Organizer. I want you to go ahead and get yourself some references. And the first one, of course, is Skyrim and Community of Cavern by Alice. You can go ahead and download, just manually download the original on Capper if you want to see what the raw file looks like. Uh, I also grabbed Better Leveling, mod number 43971 on the Skyrim Nexus, and I downloaded, uh, let's see, I downloaded the Skyrim one because I didn't like the perma one. I downloaded the Skyrim one so you can see examples, and I also grabbed the custom uncapper for Ordinator uh, on the Skyrim Nexus 6877, or 68720, and I grabbed that one as well. And I looked at what, let's just open up their leveling because that's just because the first one I have. Uh, SKSE, plugins, the uncapper.ini. I'm going to move it over to the other side. And open up the uncapper blank one by Kessent. You're going to see formatting changes that are vastly different than what Kessent has. And this one has been fully configured for a perma or a sky rerun. And you can see it makes changes to the top level, the all the modifiers regarding how fast you go through each skill, how fast you level per level of skill attained, all the way down to skills that you get perks at level up, the whole thing. But it is a different format than what Kessen provides. So it might be a little confusing setting this up. Well, I do have a solution for you. You know, you can go through and you could read all these things and you could try to understand them and try to make the changes over. I talked to Stardust LP and he that's what he did. He hammered it out for a couple of hours trying to get it to work right. And he eventually did it. But I think that's kind of a waste of time. While he was doing that, I was actually creating something on the side that we could do it. And I created 
a SSE uncapper for ordinator, and it is Kazan's uncapper.ini that has been reconfigured to work a little bit better, and you can understand things. So well, the first thing you'll notice straight off, I added all the explanations for all the categories, what each of them do, what the defaults are. I added in max skill levels for Ordinator, and this is based off of looking at PERMA and Ordinator uncapper.any files, and I came up with my own system. You notice a lot of things are still blank because of the way that they're configured is different than the way Kessence is. So some things never change, but a lot of things do farther down, and it's balanced for Ordinator. So you keep going down, you can see, you know, like perk levels, perks that level up, perks level up is one per one. Mine gives bonuses at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 75, and so forth. And it changes and has multipliers for each level. So you'll get multiple perks at different levels. So it kind of balances things out. Health a level up, you'll get less over time, but you get bonuses at different milestones. And that's kind of how I want to see it. So you achieve something big, say, I'm going to get to 50 level. I'm going to have a bunch of health coming and a bunch of magic coming and a bunch of several stamina coming if I decide to choose those. Carry weights have been changed. I even changed it so mages can get carry weight increases at magicka, which they didn't have at carry weight at magicka level up zero. So all you pure mages out there were getting screwed on your carry weights. So... The good news is, I'm going to close these both down now, is that this file that I've created, SSE Uncapper for Ordinator, will be available on the Nexus to coincide with the release of this video when I release it. I don't know exactly when that will be. So they'll be up on the Nexus. You can download that. You can see all my changes. I suggest that you go through and you read these just to kind of understand and get examples of what the different things could be, and there are other ones out there available. You can just put it on Capper in the Skyrim Nexus, and you can pull up different ones, and you can see what the changes are. And you can make changes on your own, but at least you have a good template for Kessence SSE on Capper. And if you go ahead and download it from the Nexus, you can just go ahead and you can see you got the uncapper.any after you unpack it. And if you're using Nexus Mod Manager, uh, obviously it's not here right now, but you would go into your Skyrim Special Edition file and open up data, and they'll be in the DLL plugins. There's obviously nothing here right now because they don't have it installed, but they'll be there. You can just go ahead and change it over. Delete one, drop in mine. If you're using Mod Organizer, I would go ahead and double click on it and actually right click on it, excuse me, open an Explorer and DLL plugins. You can see the Skyrim uncapper.any. Delete that one and drop mine in. And just that simple and all the changes will be made. That's all I've got for now. Hopefully that all makes sense. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.